We've done a number of conversions from moles to grams and grams to moles and moles to atoms and atoms to moles, all with pure elements. I'd like to show you that the same concepts work when dealing with compounds. So if we look at a sample of diphosphorus pentoxide in a 119 gram sample, I would like to know how many molecules are present. Diphosphorus pentoxide is P2O5. And there are a number of things we know about diphosphorus pentoxide. First, one mole of diphosphorus pentoxide is going to contain 6.022 times 10 to the 23 of those little particles. Now previously we said a mole of something contained Avogadro's number of atoms because we were talking about pure elements and a little particle of a pure element is an atom. This isn't a pure element, this is a compound. And so the smallest particle of this compound is called a molecule. So one mole of diphosphorus pentoxide contains Avogadro's number of particles, in this case Avogadro's number of molecules. We also know that one mole of diphosphorus pentoxide has a mass, and I can look up the mass. Now I have to do the mass of two phosphoruses and the mass of five oxygens and add all of those together. And when I do that, I get a mass of 141.943 grams for every mole. So now we can get to work. If I have 119 grams of P2O5, the first thing we're going to want to do is convert to moles, just like in the last problem. So I'm going to take the conversion factor that says one mole for every 141.943 grams. And then I can cancel out the units. But the question is asking for molecules. So I'm going to take the second bit of information, or Avogadro's number, of molecules for every one mole, I can cancel out my moles and now I'm left in molecules. And when I do that, I get 5.05 .05 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Let's do another problem with diphosphorus pentoxide. This time we're given 4.88 times 10 to the 23 molecules of the compound. And I want to know the mass that will be present. We're using the same compound, diphosphorus pentoxide, so we can use the same information that we used in the previous question. We know that one mole of diphosphorus pentoxide contains Avogadro's number of molecules. We also know that one mole of diphosphorus pentoxide has a mass of 141.943 grams from looking at the periodic table. So I'm going to use that same information to solve this problem. This time I'm starting with 4.88 times 10 to the 23 molecules, I'm going to convert to moles, and I'm going to use Avogadro's number. One mole for every 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules. Molecules cancel. And then when we're looking for mass, we're going to be looking for grams. So I'm going to say 141.943 grams for every one mole. The moles cancel out and I'm left with 115 grams of material.